One, two, three, one, two, three. Some music coming. <laughs> Sync that, please. <laughs> When you get nine drivers with 28 world titles between them in the same room, there's one question you have to ask them. What does it take to become a world champion? We're good. We want you looking super cool. Yeah, of course. You know. It's many things, I would say. First, uh, you need the talent, because uh, not everybody is done to, to drive cars. I, I saw it. better skills than most of my friends. I always missed uh, summer breaks from the schools when the friends were going to the lake to have some good time. I went into the garage to work on the car and so on. You know, maybe my uh, school grades were not the best uh, every year as you know, I was still spending quite a lot in the garage, but in the end it was, it was my one and only dream. If you dream enough, you know, everything is actually possible if you actually uh, take it seriously. You do, you do everything on your side to make it good and then take care of all your, all your people in the team that actually have an impact on how your car should work, from engineers to mechanics, catering, food is very important. I had all the best people around me that wanted the best for us as a team. When I reached the World Championship, I wanted to change a little bit history around the World Championship. And, uh, you know, I'm really, really, when I want something, I fight for that. And I really wanted to change, you know, the fact of uh, you need to be specialist to win in Finland, specialist to win in RBC, in Sweden, in Monte Carlo, in the French winning in, in Corsica. The best thing, uh, you have to be fast on every surface. That is the most important thing. I think that is also the idea from early Monte Carlo. On one side, you must be a, a weak driver on tarmac, and on the other side, you must be a driver on snow. And that shows who is the best. It's hard for me to talk about myself, but I think often if I hear what the people I work with are mentioning, what's come out the most often is uh, maybe the attention to details and pushing and very, uh, very being very demanding to every uh, people I'm working with as much as I, has, I am to myself. Outside, I've always shown this kind of very strong self-confidence, but inside me, I actually often question myself, or, oh, I can be better, or, or can I still progress? I went always to, to test new solutions, and uh, it helped me to know better the car than anybody else. From 85 to 90, six years uh, very concentrated, where the only goal of my life was to win rallies and to be competitive and to be faster than my teammates and also the other drivers. <laughs> Maybe some rallies I was a bit crazy, you know. Uh, when it was high speed rallies, I was taking a lot of risks in some places just to secure some seconds here, some seconds here. And I, I wanted to win all the time, every stage, every round. To sum it up all, you, you have to be very disciplined in many, many ways. And I, I'm totally different. I'm, I'm an artist in life. And every corner for me is uh, another opportunity to go completely sideways and to feel a tremendous uh, you know, pleasure and, uh, but yet, you don't become a world champion like that. You, uh, so I was in a way quite lucky <laughs> to become a world champion. It's a bit of a mystery, maybe, you know. A bit of luck, there was some luck, but uh, I, I, I believe I still worked pretty hard for it. <laughs>